Yo, what is going on guys? It's LG Fishkeeping and in today's video I'm going to be discussing the top 5 best aquarium fish on the market right now in 2019. I thank you guys for all of the support and for commenting and liking on all my videos and for uh, really showing me love and I appreciate that and I hope that you guys enjoy today's video because it's going to be a good one. Thank you guys for watching and this is LG Fishkeeping. So you're going to need to be prepared for this one. The bumblebee grouper, or the giant grouper, as a juvenile has a black body with yellow spots. When the fish matures, the spots will become more elaborate with blending colors and the body will turn green to brown. The bumblebee grouper is a colossal beast and a real contender. It is a hardy fish and lives a very long life, which is really important because the fish you buy that are very expensive, such as this uh, bumblebee grouper, uh, you want to make sure they're going to live a long life and that they're going to prosper throughout their life. So, the bumblebee grouper eats almost anything that fits in its mouth. It eats meaty foods such as silver sides and frozen shrimp. You can also try saturating foods in liquid vitamins and garlic for go good fish health. Uh, the bumblebee grouper is very elusive and rarely stocked. Prices range from $300 to $600. The bumblebee grouper is one of my first favorite fish that I saw and it was one of the coolest looking fish and I saw it on uh, a picture on Google when I was looking up saltwater aquarium fish and I happened to run across it and boy is that fish amazing. It's so exquisite. The colors on it are out of this world. And I love everything that has to do with the bumblebee grouper. So that is the bumblebee grouper. On to number two. So number two is the dragon moray eel or also referred to as the Enkilor Peridalis, or the Japanese dragon eel. The dragon moray eel is a menacing moray eel species found in the Pacific Ocean. Their bodies are mosaics of red, yellow, black, orange, and white markings, and they have it across their entire body. Their faces are the, are the most intimidating feature of this specimen. They have incredibly large mouths and sharp teeth cope, coupled with what appears like horns atop its head. Truly a living dragon in the aquarium. Dragon moray eels require specific tank conditions to thrive. They can reach up to 24 inches, but must be kept in a large tank of over 150 gallons. That's pretty big. Uh, they have tightly, and make sure that you also have a tightly secured lid to prevent the dragon moray eels from jumping out, as they have been known to jump out of their tanks and will actually jump out and die, which is a bad thing for you as the fish keeper who is housing this dragon moray eel. Uh, they must also have rocks in their aquarium because the rocks are essential for them to swim in and out of and they like the rocks a lot. Uh, that's a must have for the eels. Uh, and they are coral safe but must not be placed with small inverts or fish that can easily be fed into their mouths because that will make a tasty snack for them if they get a, a fish in their mouth. Um, and they, uh, their normal diet though, they are carnivorous and they will eat foods such as shrimp, fish, crustaceans, clams, or crabs, as well as prepared foods. Sometimes in the early weeks of their introduction to the tank, the dragon moray eel may not even eat at all, but this is normal. Because of their poor eyesight, you should never attempt to hand feed the dragon moray as they may bite. Overall, if all these specifications are met, the dragon eel is one of the most fascinating and amazing looking species that is capable of being cared for in the home aquarium environment. Really nothing compares to the visual appearance of the dragon eel. It's sold for prices ranging of $1,000 to $5,000 for a fish. That's incredible. That's a lot of money, but it's worth it. Moving on to number three, this is it. Few freshwater fish are as immediately eye-catching and engaging as the mumbu pufferfish, an African species of true freshwater pufferfish found in the Congo River Basin, intelligent, personable, but also extremely aggressive. This fish is a unique display animal and has a well-deserved following among keepers of large predatory fish. They are relatively hardy. They will typically finish off any take, ma take mates over time. They have been known to eat their tank mates. If they're big enough to fit in their mouth, they'll eat it. This species is therefore best kept alone. They are enthusiastic eaters and will learn to beg for food at the front of the tank quickly. The best food items for mumbu are protein-rich frozen feed clams, squid, etc. The beach grow quickly, so frozen or live crayfish and other hard-shelled food items 
are an important addition to their diet to help wear down their sharp beaks. They have incredibly sharp, sharp razor t teeth, and it is also called a beak, which is used for them to crush down and eat their food. And if that is not sharpened down, they will quickly die because it will overgrow and it will cause fatality for them. So it is essential that they sharpen their teeth by eating their food. Prices range from $300 to $1,000 for Mumbu Pufferfish, but boy are they beautiful. Moving on to number four, here we go. The polka dot freshwater stingray, or the polka dot stingrays, have a black to dark brown smooth oval shaped body with light round to oval spots covering the top half of their body. Their underside is light gray to white with no spots. Their eyes are raised from the dorsal surface. Their robust tail has a venomous spine at its tip capable of inflicting pain. Like other freshwater stingrays, polka dot stingrays have keen eyesight. Their protruding eyes allow them to see what is above them while they are on the river bottom and also help them navigate through murky environments. They also possess amphuli or lorenzine, which is also a sensing organ called electroreceptors forming a network of jelly-filled pores located on their skin around the nose and mouth that allows them to detect minute electric fields generated by other living organisms. The sensory detection warns them of potential predators of prey. They have, are sold for over $100,000 a piece, and they are very rare to find, really hard to find, and really expensive fish, but they are well worth it as they are very beautiful and just an insanely pretty being. And what are you gonna do without the polka dot stingray in the fish hobby? They're great. Number five, my personal favorite, and one that I have kept, for in my own tank, in this tank, the 75 gallon. Uh, boy, was this a hard fish to take care of though. Uh, it was really difficult to uh, grow out and really difficult to have and eventually got eaten by the Oscars over there, which was my mistake as the fish keeper, but um, I enjoyed it while I had it. This is the Black Ghost Knife Fish. It's the member of the Ap Apentodonte family and the Speckled Knife Fish group. It is considered a true bony fish when properly cared for. The black ghost knife can reach well over one foot in length. It possesses a weak electrical organ at the caudal pendiculus, which is used to locate food. It requires a minimum of a 150 gallon tank with excellent filtration. Not knowing that, I housed it in a 75. Although it didn't get too big, um, I assumed it wasn't the tank that killed him. Um, it was most definitely not the tank that killed them, but it, de it was the fish. There was a lot of competition between these guys. Um, oh, just got a worm right there. You guys see that? Yeah, you just got a worm. That was cool. Um, yeah, the ghost knife fish is a great fish. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was. It's a. It is generally timid and reclusive, preferring a fine gravel bottom aquarium with plenty of roots and rocks for hiding places as well as subdued to dark lighting. To better appreciate this fish, many hobbyists, such as myself, will purchase a ghost tube, a clear plastic tube that facilitates viewing during the day. Once accustomed to its surroundings, the black ghost knife is able to feel comfortable in its environment. It can become incredibly tame and trusting to the point of being handheld. That's incredible, I didn't handheld mine, but uh, that's pretty incredible. It does well with other large, larger species of peaceful nature, but may be aggressive towards those of similar or smaller size. Carnivorous, the black ghost knife will eat all types of live foods, including meat, chopped earthworms, as well as frozen and flaked foods. It's generally sold for, get this, no more than $20. That is a great price. Ghost knife, peace out. All right, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. It means a lot for all of you guys to support it. And I'm getting, gonna continue to make more videos, continue to upload more, continue to bring more content to the channel. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys are doing and I appreciate all the support. So if you guys would leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video, that'd be great. Uh, that would help me out a lot. And I just wanted to uh, continue to say that uh, I like, I love making videos, uh, I love distributing content, and I love uh, being able to have this outlet. Uh, it's great, YouTube's great, uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, teach and educate people and to preserve our ecosystems. 
So I want to say thank you guys for continuing to watch the videos and for all of your support. And I hope that you guys check out LG Fish Keeping on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the top five of my favorite fish in the aquarium hobby. And this has been LG Fish Keeping. Peace out, y'all.